Hello and welcome back to Downtime Activities and welcome back to our combined Star Wars campaign. Perhaps, perhaps uh, the end of it. <laughs> perhaps the end of it. A pretty intense session coming up. Uh, when last we left, our young Force sensitives and our bloodthirsty bounty hunter uh, had a friend, a master, a loose associate. loose associate that you have mixed feelings about, uh, captured by the Inquisitorius and on board a pretty high-end... Inquisitorious reconnaissance vessel uh, that is part of a blockade on planet. And we kind of left off with the cliffhanger of you guys deciding what to do next. And there's been some discussion off camera, some plan making. It's not fully there yet, but uh, you have coordinates. You know where a shuttle's supposed to be. What is, what is your plan? What are you guys going to do? So I think the general breakdown is that I'm going to pretend that I'm going along and then have our intrepid crew try to sneak aboard the shuttle um, while I'm providing some kind of back and forth distraction, witty banter with the bad guy uh, <laughs> with the Inquisitor uh, and provide an opening for them to sneak aboard the shuttle and then once we're on the uh, Umbra, the frigate that we uh, that I provide another opening to allow them to get off of the shuttle and they can go and cause mayhem uh, to the communications array and we can grab Zadra and get off the ship because with Zadra's ship flying up while the communications array is... Uh, the sensor sensor array is down. Yeah. As well as probably the tractor beam? Yes. The if they know beams. you're flying out of their <laughs> ship, they'll know to shoot the tractor beam at you out there. Uh, but probably those two systems you would think... Would it be best if both, at least the the sensors, ideally both were shut down, right? In order to make an escape. Yep. And so now we're working on what the best strategy is to get them on board the shuttle because that's kind of the biggest hurdle. Um, yeah. I would also like to call somebody I assumed I would never call, but would call me. I'd like I'd like to hail Alakern on comms if I can get him. Okay. Um, a <laughs> first the go ahead. You know what? Yeah, you 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 hail the comm that you have for Alakern. A somewhat familiar voice answers. It is not Alakern's. Um, it is the voice of what's his name? Drigacron. That Doug, mm. mechanic slash pilot on board his vessel. You, uh, who is this? It's Ryden. What do you want? You wouldn't happen to know anything about a reconnaissance frigate, Imperial. Uh, I mean, I've done a lot of mechanics work in my time. I know, I know a thing or two. I need. Pretty much any data you can give me, especially about shutting down uh, sensor arrays, tractor beams, any weaknesses you know about internally, anything in the power structure we can take advantage of. It says, um, as far as shutting down systems, it's as easy as getting into the controls and pushing the off button or causing enough damage they don't work. I can do you one better as far as, uh, let's just say I did a lot of mechanics work in the past. I know a thing or two about the layouts of these kinds of ships. I could certainly patch over some information about roughly where certain systems control rooms would be. On I'd appreciate that. Vessel. I'll, uh, let Alakur know you called and those should be coming over shortly. Appreciate it. And we'll say oh, music. and if you hear any thing going out over the wire about something that happens to an Imperial reconnaissance frigate, you don't really know anything about that. <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> <laughs> that whole crew is crazy. <laughs> but, I was going to say they're reliable, but... <laughs> They're not useful. They're just crazy. <laughs> but they are reliable. They're, but they are reliable. You can rely on them to not be useful. <laughs> <laughs> At least Alakur. You can rely on him to be useless. His crew? 
Maybe they got some uses. <laughs> I mean, they keep the ship in the air, so <laughs> they gotta be giving us something. I was say for the sake of this, that they're able to kind of on like an encrypted line, since you have like some communications equipment with these Mandalorians, you're able to patch over what's more or less a floor plan schematic for a basic version of this ship. So you have a path to go right. on for at least where it should be to get to the kind of areas you'd want to to shut those systems down. As yeah, um, knowing where prison like prisoner cells are likely to be it'd be helpful uh, i want you to memorize as much of this floor plan as possible right. as well because that might keep you alive <laughs> he um, sees me like looking down at my hand <laughs> it's just like what do you have there nothing nothing <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a map of the whole <laughs> ship <laughs> give me you give me a quick hard intelligence check yeah Failing doesn't mean anything terrible. It's just like if you do really well at this, now I'd say it can be a uh, education if you've got Let's any see, ranks in education. Got, I don't. So you are. This whole group is not like there's no intelligence like in school them. educated yeah. folk. There's one failure, but one education. Okay, so. you think you have like a rough idea how to move from place to place, but you don't certainly don't have a, a the photographic mix. memory map <laughs> of it inside your head. Yeah, I don't think there's a single intelligent person in any of the stars <laughs> I'm running right now. <laughs> None of their characters are either. <laughs> hey. Um, Listen, once, once Manus is turned to the dark side, uh, I'll make a Hopefully. high intelligence like diplomat or something. <laughs> Manus can hunt and kill. <laughs> um, what's the forecast look like on Mandalore? Big rainstorm? One of these so, openings? you're hoping to get like Maybe some, some inclement weather to help this It situation. will not only look super dramatic when he shows up to meet this Imperial shuttle and sure. the ramp drops and, you know, whether it's an Inquisitor or just an officer there to meet him. It'll look great. Uh, and it'll give us a better chance to sneak on board. Um, go ahead, somebody, whoever would like to, roll me. Oh, that's a Jocelyn roll. A red, a yellow, and a four star. What do I gotta do? It? Huh? Because... Because you have you're... better luck than the rest of us. Ooh. A failure, two advantage, and a dark side. Weather's looking pretty clear. (laughs) (laughs) Unfortunately. um, It's kind of stormy out, but not rainy, not foggy. There's not really coverage. It's just kind of dark and foreboding. Let's try and and do it in the evening anyway. Yeah. Just so hopefully we have a cover of darkness. I can just just choose not to approach the shuttle until nighttime. Yeah. Like, they gave me Mm -hmm. a coordinate, but not a time, so Mm -hmm. I can just choose to do that in the night, I guess. Um, Until he rings me up on the comm at noon. <laughs> it's just like, why are you? <laughs> I, uh, I I'm su- eating cheeseburgers. <laughs> I suppose I will ask for the same thing I always ask the Mandalorians for. A couple of demolitions charges. <laughs> They'll give you a couple of demolitions charges. I appreciate it. About run dry on these. <laughs> I, I like to think I'm putting them to good use. And it, if you're blowing up Imperials, you're putting them to good use. Um... Well, I'm just like, look, I'm doing that thing where I look through my inventory for like, like, what do I have in my inventory that can save me in this situation? Explosive <laughs> shackles. Explosive shackles. <laughs> uh, I do have, I do have one, I do have one trick up my sleeve if we get into a major combat. No. Um, I, don't, I don't even remember exactly who gave me that. <laughs> You got a couple thermal thermal detonators? No, I'm, I want thermal detonators. <laughs> an internal thermal detonators. <laughs> can I can I get thermal detonators at cost from these Mandalorians? Um, I'd, I'd buy a couple of them. It depends if they have access and if they're willing to get. You know, I'll, I'll say for the sake of this, I'm gonna roll to see if they have any. And then, because they're pretty rare, pretty expensive. Uh, but in the game, I throw them around all the time. <laughs> yeah, because the game decided they were hand grenades. Yeah. Not. Give They're me. Not. Uh, it's gonna be a hard negotiation. You're just chewing through all their explosives. Through three failures. Three failures. Ah. It seems like say that they they have like one or two, and they they need to keep a hold of it for their own own purposes, uh, taking back their world. Don't blame them. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I can't really think of anything to buy unless I want to go ahead and get the laser sight for my. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's. Yeah. 
Actually, I have the cost of it written down. It's 500. It's 500? Mm-hmm. I'll spend 500 on it. Okay. Um, and there's no mod options with them. So. Jesus. Oh. Uh, might as well get seven, everything you can seven, set up here. Six, 18, zero, one, one. Wow. Either I'm not lucky or very lucky. Right. That's kind of how it works. Look, I'm expecting sooner or later this turns into a fight, and if I have to just hold down a hallway with auto fire, I want to be as good at it as possible. There so, you go. Um, that's what I got. Okay. If anybody else has any equipment they want to get, now's probably the time to do it. Yeah. I don't think nah. there's any stores on board this ship you're going to. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have like things. There's I don't not buy a things. giant man inside a cart waiting for you to buy things from him. What are you buying? <laughs> What about the mystics? <laughs> the Duke. The Duke. Uh, yeah, I just don't have, like, anything that I can... Like, I could... I guess I could, like, try to buy a stealth suit. <laughs> you know? Like, I guess. But it's, like, to what end, mm-hmm. you know? At the beginning of this, at least, stealth is not your... Right. Should be you who's doing it, because you're the best at it. But you are the one person who's not really able to. For this right. Plan, unfortunately. I do have no ranks in stuff. I can sneak as best as I can, okay? Right. <laughs> you can sneak as good as you can sneak. As good as you can. I, and that's as... all we can do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. my, my only thing is that I can be, like, loud enough and bombastic enough that... But... But I can knock out some motherfuckers real <laughs> that is true. Once we're on board the ship, we might be relying on that a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, how how fast and hard can you punch? And the answer is very. <laughs> it <laughs> on is both accounts. so far pretty good. <laughs> Damn good. So, it is, is the plan for you to go on board ship first and then they're trying to sneak in as, like, be coming, sneak in behind you before the door closes kind of a, a deal? I think uh, so. Or are they trying to get on board before you? Which of the two? I, I, I assume the... it'll be easiest, easier for us to get on after him. Okay. I, I, I would assume, but... Well, if I can, like, draw them out of the ship, and you guys, like, maybe sneak around to, like, while they're all looking at me, maybe? That's a possibility as well. But that might be, like, when all their eyes are outside, so it might be, like, yeah, as soon as I step inside and everyone, like, turns the follow, then you guys, like, sneak in behind. So that's the other, yeah, the other coin flip there. What do you think? Good. I, I think it'll... My assumption is it'll be easier after. for us after. Okay, well, let's do after yeah. them. Do you want to give somebody your lightsaber? Oh, yeah, Flopsy, so you can hold on. Flopsy, lightsaber. Puts it I in just... loin cloth. <laughs> I just don't want them to, uh, like, just take your lightsaber from you yeah, and just know. never get Damn. back to the same <laughs> It's going to be real awkward, and he's like, show me your strength. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 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 uh, That's what I'm going to the old force push. <laughs> yeah, but you just shove him down really hard and turn it around. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, uh, let's let's go for it. That's, <laughs> this yeah. is... I can beat you if you were an ant. The ant was this big. This big. Mid. You just look. A classic. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to have to go for it. You okay. know? I I like this plan even less than the the time Zedra uh, marched we me into the Hutt's yep. palace and so just immediately went loud. But we'll you are are you trying to lure them out and then them sneak in first, or are you going in there sneaking in behind you? I think they're going to try to sneak in behind me. Okay. So you guys, you go to this meeting coordinate. You wait till nightfall. You go to it. It is a um, smaller landing pad that's kind of on a um, not in like the large facility itself. It's just a different, smaller, like imperial kind of like almost like a cargo in and out section of like the landing part of Mandalore. Um, and there's an area that's cleared out, and uh, it's it seems like there's not like a heavy imperial presence here. It's not like you have to move to a bunch of checkpoints to get to this place. The ship is. Fair, kind of parked in a fairly decent sized clearing, but there's like boxes and crates and cover that other people could kind of be moving around behind and following you from. As you approach towards it, um, you can see that there seems to be um, a, like a, a pair of stormtroopers who are kind of just on a patrol around it, and you're not trying to be sneaky, I assume. Right. And so as they spot you, um, you can see one of them like do the classic. Yeah. And then um, stepping down out of this shuttle, you see two troopers 
that are in that kind of dark red strange armor. The, some of the people you saw when uh, the Gunji fell. That style of armor. And you see two of them approach towards you. Start approaching towards you as these two stormtroopers move onto the ship. Alright. And I, I'll, <laughs> I'll go good. What, your boss is in here? <laughs> and they said, come with us. The Inquisitor's ready to see you. And they, they, they kind of yeah. try and be fairly forceful. They, they seem to be like... Yeah. We're not irritated, <laughs> irritated that they're even having to deal with you, let alone you being a smug little bastard. <laughs> like, it's, it's our job to murder these people, and now we have to, like, talk with talk them. to this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely just, like, being as loud, obnoxious Snarky. as I can be, and, like, stomping and, like, walking, trying to, like, walk in front of them, so they're, like, looking Give forward at me. Give me a... Yeah, Deception? Cheeky bastard. Uh, Roll for cheeky uh, bastard. <laughs> Maybe uh, I've got four ranks in the cheeky bastard set. <laughs> Skullduggery. <laughs> Skullduggery. You're just yeah. trying to like. Yeah, it's what I, I need is a do... performance, but there isn't. Yeah, a I, I would say um, it's not charm. That's for sure. Yeah. We'll we'll say you can use. It wouldn't really be deception. I don't think. I'll let you use can negotiation use or um, negotiation or coercion. For being like just loud and making a racket, um, it'll be average for either. Oh, okay. uh, it's the same roll either way for me, so no sweat there. And this isn't. This is just kind of determining how helpful it is. Flat roll, literally flat. Nothing. Completely flat. Okay. Straight. No. Straight. Nothing. All right. So you mean shit. is Skull trying to sneak with you guys? Yeah. Or is it is? And I guess one other thing we didn't specify. I, you're going to have Zadra's ship kind of on standby. Mm-hmm. Is it R3 on there only, or is anyone else on board with him? I'll leave that up to you since uh, it's your henchman. <laughs> He's not really your henchman. It'll, He's your buddy. It'll, ju- your it'll just be R3. Okay. I, want, I, want, I want Quar to either live a long life fighting Imperials <laughs> here on the planet, or live a long life fighting Imperials elsewhere when I would officially recruit him. Um, I don't want him getting blown up along the way. Okay, but Skull is coming with you? Yeah, I think okay. so. Alright. Uh, I'll have average stealth checks from all of you guys. Alright. So so not your um, You can Dang. all add a boost die from him making a racket. A reminder, you do have these to spin. I was about to say, do you want to flip one of those and give Jocelyn a yellow on that? Yay! It is giving me full evil and <laughs> evil over here, which is very... <laughs> Fitting for the, the state fitting. of things at the moment. So you don't have any ranks in stealth. No. Nope. So your agility, so you bop, bop, and it's a, with a boost, and then average. Average. And did you mm. turn one of those greens to you? Yeah. Yep. yep. Roll. Flat or nothing. Okay. That's a lot. One success, one advantage. One success, one advantage. <laughs> That's better than that. <laughs> um, Clearing. And stealth for your friend. He has no ranks, but he's fairly agile. Um, success one advantage from Skull. Can we spend our advantages? To... I'll say between both of you having no... Like, there's no threat on the board. You guys both succeeded, and you did not fail. That yes. Flopsy is requiring some guidance, <laughs> but you're able to sneak up to, like, the kind of drop hanger of this thing. Um, you're going to have a fairly short amount of time. So, like, moving into this ship, there's kind of a, a back seating section, and you can see that, like, you, like quickly walk up quietly into this um, and there is like a rows of two by two chairs there's two stormtroopers sat in these in like some of the back ones and then up front you can see like the front row these guys have basically shoved him down into one of those chairs and are sitting next to and behind him um, you have two paths to go either side to what looks like storage or like like small areas that are like multi-purpose one side to the left looks like storage. The one to the right looks like maybe some sort of latrine. Uh, which direction you go? Storage. Latrine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody has to poop on this bitch. Uh, or skulls following you. You know, you know that moment when you're on a when you're on a flight and it's it's you know you know you're just you're tired already and like. You know, airports are a mess, and you walk back to the bathroom and open the door, and there's, there's a yay. polar bear in there. Yeah. <laughs> and they punch you in the face and drag you in. <laughs> the second anyone sees me, I'm going to cover their mouth with my big fuzzy hand, and they can lick the rocks all over it. And I'm going to... Right. Like, so you, you cut right, you guys cut left. Um, I'm going to... Hmm. 
Roll for poop. I'm gonna roll for poop. Then. I'm deciding <laughs> if there's gonna be another check getting into these rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say one more average stealth check from everybody, but because you're inside of a small space where he's making all this noise, you can have two boosts on this one. Nice. Oh wait, no, you don't get a yellow this time. Ooh, look at you go. Roll. There you go. Two Skull. success, one threat. Oh, sorry. The threat is that you are in the bathroom, so there's yeah. a chance. Two success, one threat. Two success, one threat. Uh, four success from your droid friend, nice. which is... Skull has consistently proven himself to be capable of moving quietly when needed. <laughs> which is, which is so terrifying. terrifying. <laughs> like, this is very quiet for how big and lumbering of a machine this guy is. Oh, God. Um, with your threat, like, you, you pop in here, I'm going to say it's, like, it's just anything, like, you're, the threat is the situation you guys are in right now. I'm not going to make it really count for something. Uh, I am going to roll really quickly for poop. <laughs> roll for poop. Uh, <laughs> roll for poop. Roll for poop. You're lucky this time. <laughs> <laughs> one of them feels the need to poop, but it's one of the ones watching him, and he doesn't want to let him out of sight, so he holds <laughs> it. <laughs> it was a triumph. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, no one comes to the latrine during this flight, um, and during the, and they, you maybe cause ruckus, but nobody is like after they sit you down. No one's talking to you, and then this thing. Does he have happen. any idea whether or not we've managed to successfully make it? Probably way. not, because yeah. he's been focused on on causing the ruckus. He's trusting that you guys yep, did. I gotta trust. And then this ship, this it's a lambda class, classic. Imperial yeah. shuttle raises up, the wings drop, and it starts to fly it's, away. It's the classic. I don't know why it needs big manta ray wings, but damn is it damn it is it cool. Is it cool. <laughs> <laughs> and and they're, they're folded up and they're all mm-hmm. yeah, they just cool. And this thing flies up and you as you're approaching like you are back enough that you can't there's not really a like window where you're sitting that you can see. But it's it's a decent little flight. like you can kinda of look down the hall. I guess there's a door. So you actually can't see anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually you can Feel the ship slow, and then like the thump of it stopping and landing somewhere. And these two immediately stand up and are like taking the, the, the Imperial like, March is playing of... somewhere right. outside the walls of the ship. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm still doing my best to be an obnoxious asshole. <laughs> Can never drop character. Commit to the bit. <laughs> never drop. Never drop. Non copyright music. Distinct <laughs> non copyright music. Yeah, never drop character <laughs> until they. Smart. Star Wars music, it's my own. <laughs> <laughs> this is legally distinct, don't sue me, Disney. Yeah. Never drop, never drop character until you. they <laughs> are monsters and want all your money and your blood. <laughs> they just want my childhood. They've already monopolized that. True. Uh, yeah, never drop character until all of a sudden they have to go, it's awful quiet around here. Where's that guy that was yelling? (laughs) (laughs) And uh, these guys kind of pop you up and start moving towards the back of the ship, and this thing drops down uh, at the back of the ship. And as it drops down, you can see standing there... um, I mean, I guess it's hard to say, like, an individual you recognize, because it's all people in, like, Stormtrooper armor or Inquisitor armor. One person who stands out, though, is the person directly at the bottom of it as you drop, as this drops. And you see someone in that Inquisitor armor but who clearly has a large, uh, like, what you recognize as, when activated, electro hammer on his back, who uh, who seen, was one of the people responsible for the goodies, beating the Degunji near to yeah. death in front of you as you escaped. Part, um, part of my hope, I guess, was that it would be Zadra and Inquisitor Arbor. It would be just, ooh, this just horrible. Oh, that would be a fucking twist. That would be quite the twist. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Zadra's a good guy, for now. It's true. Uh, <laughs> He's a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a well-intentioned guy. He's a guy. <laughs> um, and these two, there's him flanked by two more of these um, these Inquisitor troopers, mm-hmm. uh, and they are going to basically jet like nudge you forward, and the procession of the five of you is going to move off this ship. Um, the other two, you can see there's like a number of people who are probably up in the front of the ship. You can hear kind of people coming and going for a little bit of time, um, and then the ship itself gets quiet. You are going to start getting marched out of this hangar down the hall into a different place. Uh, you, it maneuvers through for a little ways. It's these five individuals kind of going, and then you get to this kind of end room in one of the hallways. Uh, you can see two more of these perch troopers on either side. And uh, as they approach, the door opens, and the guy with the electro hammer, like who's been leading so far, turns and gestures for you to walk into the room. 
Can I see into the room? It's fairly dark inside of the room. Um, you'd have to kind of step at least into the doorway to really look inside. I'm going to be a real asshole. I'm going to stand in the doorway and look into the room before I walk in. Uh, you got to step up and like look in, and you can clearly see um, standing there a... Like, you're going to see... Uh, kind of shape. It's again. It's fairly dark, and you can see a, sa- a shape kind of sitting or, or semi standing on some sort of apparatus, and standing next to them a kind of dark silhouette that has one red glowing eye on one side. And you feel a firm hand hit your back, and you kind of step, <laughs> take like a, a, re- a reactive step into the room, and the door closes behind you. Hey, this isn't the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting to the ship. Things get still and quiet for a moment. I think you should. Uh... Demonstrate your superiority and take a shit in there. Anyway. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a potted plant in there? <laughs> um. Well, since we kind of know the layout of the ship, uh, whichever system of the two systems we need to shut down is closer. Um. You think the tractor beam would probably be the closer? Of the okay. Well. Uh, we'll. Start and of with course, that. they're kind of we're... off opposite right, directions right, of yeah. each other to make it inefficient. To yeah. Get uh. So we'll go to the truck. Wherever the prisoner cells probably are, let's go to the one farthest. Okay. If that makes sense. Um, so that way we can hopefully like hit two objectives really close back to back, uh, two important ones. Um, I guess we're trying to just sneak out of the ship. Uh, pop my head, pop my head sort of around the ramp and take a look in the hangar and see what's going on. You can on. see that it seems like the ship itself is still just kind of parked in the middle of this hangar. There's a number of people moving around and no one's paying extremely close attention to the ship. But it is a, an Imperial hangar, so there's just people wandering around doing their jobs. <laughs> well, as soon as the way to... As, as soon as the way sort of in the direction of our objective is clear, I guess we'll try and just... Come across and go yeah. for it. Try and try and wait for a shift change. <laughs> stealth mission with the heavies. Go ahead and make stealth a stealth check. With the heavies, stealth and with the it'll heavies. It'll be. Um, I think it'll be average. Uh, you don't really have any boost. It's just an average stealth check. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. one success from success? Flopsy. No, oh, two success, two advantage. Oh. The purples did not show up that time. Two success, two threat for uh, Skull. How can I Skull move so quiet? I will <laughs> say for the sake of this, I'll let your advantage cancel out his threat, and it'll just be straight. You guys are able to get to this doorway. What's that ominous clanking noise? It turns out that there's just like lots of clanking noises <laughs> going on in the hangar, so they just don't think it. But, Skull continues to be uncomfortably <laughs> speaking for his size and, and uh, makeup. You guys are going to get across quickly over to this corner and in through this door and start being in the, the hallways of this ship and start moving through it. Uh, you have a kind of rough schematic of where you need to go to get to this um, this first system. For the sake of it... Uh, where are the power systems in relation to like these systems we have to shut down? Like You would have to kind of it's in between but out of your way so okay. you'd have to kind of veer off a little bit from like a straight shot between the two the prisoner cells are fairly directly in between the two okay uh but the the power source itself is kind of further receded back in the ship okay well yeah i guess i guess, I guess we're just kind of going that's a good it. question based on my mental map where am i like am, is this give me cells? a quick right. and we'll call it just an average intelligence average <laughs> intelligence that's what i am one success, one threat. You think that you are fairly deep into the ship, fairly central in the ship, um, not close to either system or to the hangar very much. Fair enough. Judging by how long it took you to kind of maneuver in like the turns and stuff you took. Gotcha. They didn't like disarm me, did they? They didn't as they drug you in here, but they didn't need to. So right. that's well, <laughs> it I seems think- like they probably maybe wouldn't have hmm. they didn't like search you for weapons okay then i still have my blaster pistol <laughs> if they didn't if they didn't bother to search me i'm gonna freaking obi-wan kenobi <laughs> inelegant How long is guys. It? <laughs> just, i like the idea of you pulling a um blazing saddles and taking yourself hostage <laughs> and walking down the hallway. 
<laughs> Did um, and move through here. Uh, someone give me a survival check to maneuver this. Let's I think survival. our survival's cunning. about the same. Because uh, you have one rank one, in it and three cunning? Yeah. yeah, so it's exactly the same. Okay. You can... What difficulty? Average. You could have your droid friend do it. He two has... failures, two advantages. Um, you don't take a... Oh, you tell me. You tell me. Your, go- your goal is to try and efficiently and quickly... Well, yeah, if the, if the goal is to efficiently and quickly get to where we're going, it is neither quick nor efficient... But, but there's nobody, like, we are wandering around, it takes us, it absolutely takes us many more minutes than we would like to get oriented and figure out where we are, but there's nobody there. You get lucky with the timing of are just like, it's literally, you talk to the Okay, um, and after some time, eventually you will make it there. Not very efficiently, but you're lucky enough to not run into people, and you get outside of the, uh, tractor beam kind of control system. Uh, this isn't exact. This isn't where like the people controlling it have right. like, their terminals. The actual like the like, the, like mechanics core of mechanics it, yeah. of it, um, which is even better. <laughs> which is even better. If there's anybody in there, try and kill them quick. Try and kill them quiet. I think we're just going in. We don't really have a like. We don't really have another. <laughs> there appears to be um, you kind of like peering in. You hear like there there is someone inside of you. You might want to send Flopsy first, since she can do the punchy punch, which is very quiet. Fair. What do you think? Yeah. Go ahead and give me a stealth. <laughs> Gonna move up in there quietly. Average stealth. One success. One success. Uh, so you kind of, kind of peer around the corner, and you can see what's clearly an Imperial engineer who seems to be like uh, tightening a, a thing down with like a vibro wrench and (laughs) and he kind of stands up and looks at it and seems like he's just kind of inspecting his work but he does not notice you as you sneak up behind him I'm gonna knock him the fuck out okay (laughs) are you like lightsaber fist killing him or are you just trying to knock him out I'm I'm knocking him out I'm not gonna kill this give me the uh, uh, melee attack give me the uh, a brawl check this guy's just doing his job Uh, it'll be average because of the it's a brawl check. You will. I'll give you uh, two boost on this yep. because he is completely unaware. So we got two success, two advantage, and then we'll, we'll roll the two boost just to an extra success. So three success, three success, two and advantage. your brawn is four, four. seven, mm-hmm. and then your uh, you're using just the plus one from those. So, yeah. Okay, um, you're able to knock him out. <laughs> He's not wearing armor to like. Soak a bunch of this. <laughs> I hope he doesn't see this coming. And I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's like you. You like you go in first, and you hear you see her like fairly quiet for how how quiet she's been so far. This is more quiet than you've seen. Uh, yeah. Sneaks into this, and then you just kind of go. Pum! So so this isn't, but this definitely like isn't a back shot of like going in. It's. From like a down, like a Dutch angle of the engineer, like like this, and, down, just, and you just see like a <laughs> shadow come up. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a rock from my pocket and place it next to him. <laughs> <laughs> You're calling. Card. Yeah, somebody hit me with a rock. <laughs> it's such a small rock. It dented my helmet. <laughs> um, and it seems like this room is yours. Uh. I, can I just make a mechanics check to disable this? I'm going to put a demolitions charge in here anyway. <laughs> just for principle. Uh, and just like, just to cause some chaos on our way out. Um, but I'd say you can make this... I would like to just like... Because of this system specifically, uh, it's going to be a hard mechanics check. As this is experimental and strange technology. I'll give it a shot. If it's experimental and strange, it should mean it's easy to break. This. One, one failure, one advantage. Yeah. Uh, it seems like Damn, you're not this able... thing's hard to break. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you're not able to. You don't think you're going to be able to disable this in a way that doesn't trip alarms and let them know mm. it's been disabled. But you're able to figure that out before you cause any of those alarms. I would like to hide the demolitions charge, kind of behind it or. There's under there's it certainly somewhere you can kind of like tuck it around and, and um, attach. Okay. Uh, objective one. Uh, <laughs> top quarter of our screen ticks off. Um, we we're moving on to objective two. Is that going to be thing. moving towards the prisoner cells in between the two, or are you trying to move towards the uh, sensor array? Right? Uh, 
No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go for the prisoner cells because it's in between, so it's it's therefore more efficient. You but... could kind of backtrack through it to get back to the hangar anyways, technically. It'd but... be adding a little bit of time. But I'm worried if things go loud, busting Zadra out, or finding Zadra, that yeah. Yeah. that it's going to make it hard to get to the other system. But Zadra's never made things go loud before. <laughs> we let him out of the cell. So he just picks up a gun off a dead stormtrooper and takes off running down the hall. And <laughs> I'm free! I'm a part of this whole place now! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Jedi on the edge! <laughs> Let's go for the prisoner cells. And hopefully, Zadra's easy to find. And hopefully, there's not less like, I don't know, 10 force sensitive kids in here or something we have to yeah. bust out as well. Yeah. Zadra, super easy to find. I already found him. He's stapled to this table. Could be. Cutting two. <laughs> you enter into this room, and you can see, as you kind of step in, uh, much in the dramatic Star Wars way, like a bit of like low red underlining kicks on as you come in um and you can see that it is zadra who is it's it's basically one of those like torture rack things but it doesn't have like the thing in front of it to like zap him or a dro- a creepy doctor ball droid uh hovering around or anything like that which um, has for some reason a skeleton hand sticking out of it well <laughs> yeah. um aesthetic is important <laughs> they're the bad guys uh <laughs> But also standing next to it, you see Inquisitor Drakkar, who you didn't really know the name of until he introduced himself. Hmm. But also something that you didn't really take note of, he knew your name. Yeah. I took note of it. Well, yeah, I was going gonna, was gonna to assume that he had tortured, <laughs> tortured it out of Zadra. <laughs> and you can see Zadra here is like, he's, he's bound, his hands are like attached into this thing, his feet are attached into this thing, he's got like this strap across his chest, and it looks like he's basically got like a cowl over his his head and you probably some maybe something you don't know if he can speak or not but it looks like he's pretty thoroughly strapped into whatever this apparatus is although there's no like obvious torture implements around here um and walking into this place uh the inquisitor starts stepping forward towards you and says that our meeting has been a long time coming i could tell when you first reached out that you had promise. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah. you like, arrogance <laughs> can be useful, though <laughs> oftentimes gets beat out of you over time. But I'm not here... To beat me? I'm not here to... <laughs> to so he shakes his head. I'm not here to threaten you. I'm here to give you an off to give you a chance. No, he's not he's not threatening to beat you. He's just going straight to the beat. <laughs> <laughs> he says I can tell that you have a chance to to join us, to become an inquisitor, to lean into the side of the force that is far more effective and powerful. And cement yourself in a place of authority, safety, and control in the Empire. It would be nice not to be the guy running around like a swamp rat. That'd be pretty great. It's a lot better to be the person hunting the swamp rat than the swamp rat. Better to be the boot than the neck, if you know what I mean. Which do you pick, then? Well, I guess that depends on what you're expecting of me. Joining this order is foregoing the life that you've started and starting a new one. It is being directly under the tutelage of one of the most powerful force sensitives to ever live. Though, and you see him kind of like uh, rub along <laughs> his robotic uh. corner of his body. It says, though, those are some hard-learned lessons. What you're taught will prepare you to hunt down and eliminate enemies of the Empire. Well, that's, that's, that's some good high-level uh, conversation there, uh, Chief. Uh, what, but what do you need me to do, like, now? To make sure that you don't just get a bunch of your stormtroopers out here to put a bunch of blasters in the back of my neck. 
Yes. You willingly came on board this ship, and no shot, no fire was had upon you upon entering here, because I don't want to kill you. The Order is always looking for people in touch with this side of the Force, and I could tell by our connection, and some of what I've seen in the wake of the path you have taken, that you have what it takes to have a chance at this. What I require of you right now is fairly simple. And you see him kind of like swing the his like cloaked piece over to the side and you can see Zadra's lightsaber mm-hmm. on his hip and he pulls it out and extends it towards you and he says, prove your loyalty. And then looks towards Zadra. Oh. Well, that makes this a lot easier. And I'll pick up the lightsaber, and I'm going to try a quick draw. Side. <laughs> You're going to try what? I'm going to try to use my quick, quick strike on quick, him. Quick draw and him? quick strike features. Attacking him? Uh, to attack him. Okay. Yeah. Um, and with that, we're cutting back to the other two. <laughs> like, oh, no, that makes this way. I'm like, how the fuck am I going to fight this guy? Hey, here's a lightsaber. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh. That makes this this guy went. This guy went full blown. Like, yeah. take up your lightsaber, strike me down, do it, and you went sure. Yeah. Well, he seems to strike me down. <laughs> you read in, but you read in you must, the lines. You so. must, you <laughs> must prove your loyalty. You, oh, I will. You're doing exactly what he asked. Exactly. He has no right to be angry. <laughs> He should have been clearer. <laughs> this is very true. I thought. See, I thought I was gonna have to try to quick draw and shoot him. Like, cause I thought I was gonna be like walk up to Zadra and be like, yeah, hey, hey, and then like spin and shoot. <laughs> but this, this, I'm much better with a lightsaber than I am with a blast. There you go. <laughs> you guys maneuvering through here. Uh, make me another survival check. Average survival. Let's see. Here, survival. you rolled it. You rolled it last time. Yeah. 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 So it's uh, cunning. Yeah, so, bop, 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 and then average, or hard? Average. Average. Roll! What's success? Seven. That's the third time you know, fairly you efficiently <laughs> move to the prisoner quarters. <laughs> and going here, there's, like, clearly a kind of a desk checkpoint at the front of this that you can kind of peer around the corner quietly and see. There's one of those dorks with the big black helmet things sitting behind it. Um, but that seems to be the only person in this room right now. Darth Helmet! <laughs> It's a fairly wide open room. It may be hard to... You'll have to move quick to get to him. Or very quickly or very quietly for him to not notice. He does seem to be like kind of looking down the... It was like a desk pointed out and you're like opposite end coming in from this door. Can I use force move and like bring him over and then whack him? <laughs> Give him the old one-two? Just I can use your force move. I don't just, think it's supposed to be able to move people. Could you just force move? Objects. However, could you just he's sitting this, in a chair. You, he's sitting in a chair. <laughs> 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 it's the rolly chair you just like roll see, chair, it force power chair. Yeah. see it would have even just been funny to just like force turn his <laughs> that big white like, too dark side I'm gonna say I will allow you to lift up this guy's chair and have it catapult into your fist however this is you cannot do this non-lethally if you choose to give into this, it's going to be a moment of like anger and passion, and the punch you do, if yeah, it's I'm enough very, to take him out, I'm it's very enough to scared for my kill friends. Him. So okay. yeah. Go okay. ahead and roll me a uh, brawl check. Average brawl. I'm so sorry, random guy number three. <laughs> <laughs> three success on it. This chair, this guy is sitting here, and all of a sudden it's like I'm picturing just like a normal office chair, yeah. but like. <laughs> Like it raises and flies, and you come walk. You like step around the corner as it comes there, and it is a blood curdling crunch as your fist connects. And like it's you know like it's you see this from like side profiles. It's that like kind of dorky helmet. You see her fist go impossibly (laughs) deep into this helmet, and it can kind of sit there on her fist, and then as she kind of like angles it down, it kind of slough off, and there's clearly blood and bits of bone on on her fist. Very nice, Flopsy. <laughs> roger, Roger. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm used. To, I'm pretty used to this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when skull when skull punches people, it has a similar effect. <laughs> well done. Thank you. <laughs> Let's check his prisoner records. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, wait. running up to it. I'm not gonna make you guys like he's logged in already. <laughs> like you can see that there is um, currently one prisoner marked as being on board this vessel. Um, it is not. It, it's uh, the. The like coding and stuff for it, it's not Zadra. 
But there is someone locked up here. It does also, you're able to like look at the security feed and you can see that there is um, two stormtroopers that are marching inside of that area and walking through it. I, I, if you want to get more information on who is locked up there, it'll be a computer's check. Mostly just like a... I mean, like it is like a cell number. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, that's mostly all I need. Um, it's a cell number, and it's it's marked as like the basic coding for it is like it's not a enemy, some like an enemy of the empire. Some it's like marked as a um, like I don't know what the exact terminology would be like a, a person that's here for questioning. Mm. Like person of interest. Person of interest. Yeah, uh, like a person who has. I would. I would like to wave Skull and Flopsy back to either side of the door that okay. leads to the prisoner cells, and I want to yell around the corner. Can you two give me a help with this prisoner transfer? Around. Okay. Yeah, uh, give me a deception. Give me a deception. We'll call it an average deception. Does Bill's voice sound a little off? <laughs> None of these guys know what they sound like. Hey, deception is cunning. It is my best social skill, <laughs> apart from coercion. <laughs> One success. Hey. Hey. We are steady. We are. Uh, coming. You don't know about any prisoner transfer? I heard they're bringing some Jedi kid on board, but he shouldn't be coming back here to us. And walking out <laughs> <of us. laughs> <laughs> And, uh... I will go ahead. You know, this has gone well enough. I'm going to let you and Skull both get, get uh, the drop here. Yeah. Uh, and I would, uh, da, da, da. Like the to average, I'll give you each a boost. I would like oh, to introduce man. these. Uh, I would like one, to in- one success, two advantage, and then. Oh, wait. One success, two advantage. Yeah. Oh, oh, just a blank. So, yeah, yeah one success, two advantage. <laughs> <laughs> one success, two. I mean, this is a stormtrooper. One success, what's your total damage? Are you using oh. your lightsaber or are you using your fist? Lightsaber. Okay. <laughs> if there's a, what's your what's your Flopsy lightsaber? Has a taste for blood. <laughs> lightsaber is plus one force. No. So it's, uh, it's plus one, but it also ignores soak. plus two damage. Plus, plus two, two damage. Yeah. Breach. So plus two yeah. damage. Yeah. Your strength force. That's yeah. six, and you had how many successes? One. So seven, but it ignores his yeah. soak. Six. So you like <laughs> like reach around and just like punches, carves through him. Goal? <laughs> oh no! Gets six success. <laughs> <one threat. laughs> he so just he, he kills him, but it's loud. It's loud and it's crunchy and it's like you stab, you punch and your lightsaber stabs through this helmet of this guy and pulls out. He just punches through the helmet and pulls out <laughs> with his robo fist. You guys both demolish these people, but Skulls is fairly loud. <laughs> think if anyone's around to hear it, they probably would have heard that. Skull. I'm impressed. <laughs> roger, roger. <laughs> and he kind of looks towards you and like raises a fist and gives you a little, not the lightsaber one, a little, a little knock. A little, uh, I'm like... Little, little, little. <laughs> <laughs> and you two follow in behind. Uh, <laughs> let's open this guy's, let's go, Let's open this guy's cell and see if it's a uh, princess or some shit. <laughs> uh, you open, princess you open Peach. the cell and inside is not a princess <laughs> no. at all. Uh, inside you see, oh, what's that species called? Uh, the ones that have, like, the three eyes. Uh, oh, shit, I can't think of their species. Oh, I, I can, yeah, I can. Yeah, I know I, I know, I know what you're talking about, yeah. One second. I do not, but that does not matter. <laughs> yeah, these are, a grown, a grown. Mm-hmm. They're the ones with, like, weird ears, little antenna, they have, like, the three yeah. kind of eyes, not oh. eyes. Um, and he kind of looks up at you as you enter in, and he's like, You don't know life, Stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah, you should see what happened to the Stormtroopers. If you want a chance of getting out of here, you should probably come along. <laughs> he kind of slowly stands up and just starts walking behind you guys. That's uh, fair enough. I mean, if he if prisoner he wants, rescued, <laughs> it's high objective. Uh, prisoner freed. Um, if he wants a blaster, there's a couple of stormtroopers that aren't using any. Um, I guess we're heading for the. Um, we're, we're heading for the uh, yeah the uh, sensor array. Um, you guys move on from here and start heading that man, direction. I, I sure hope Manus. He will uh, grab one of the blasters off the stormtrooper. He kind of mm-hmm. and she's like he moves fairly methodically, picks it up and comes behind you. I know literally nothing about this guy. For all I know, he's a complete scumbag. Yeah. He doesn't look like any of the bounties I've been after. So there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Like wait a second. 
You're worth like thirty thousand credits. No, I just, I just <laughs> take a moment and you're a stormtrooper, and the stormtrooper hands me a play bag of currency, and then I shoot the stormtrooper, and we keep going. That's I mean, that's basically so, what our plan was last time. <laughs> this is true. Um, so, cutting back to, um, he did not exactly not see this coming. So you're not going to have like a free attack round on him. Mm-hmm. However, uh, we will have like a roll of initiative here, gotcha. um, and I, yours is cool, his is vigilance. Okay, so my cool is present, so bop bop. Three advantage. Okay, um, where is my stats for Inquisitor? He is making that skill. He's not scary, right? It's not scary. This isn't going to go terribly horribly wrong. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anything about, you know, the stat block that Erickson has created for this character. It's true. But I do know what the Force and Destiny rulebook says about Inquisitor, so... Uh... Um, you, like, you're like, oh, thanks. And by the time you've drawn your your lightsaber and are swinging at him, he's already, like, he's already pulled his out, drawn it, and activated it, but he doesn't swing at you yet. Um, okay. However, you can, it's then going to be your turn. Nice. Um, so, because he hasn't taken a turn in combat yet... Uh... I get my quick draw. He has taken a turn in combat. Oh. He's just chosen not to attack you during his turn. He took his turn before you, drew and activated his lightsaber in the time it took you to draw yours to swing at him, um, but chose not to swing at you. Gotcha. Okay, then I guess that... Well, can I see the rule book real quick? I want to see how it's phrased and see if I get my boost die. Because <laughs> phrasing's important. I think it hasn't taken a turn. Yeah. Um, but I'm not saying that sure. you're wrong. I'm just, just want to make sure that I'm wrong. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm just saying that I might need every edge I can get. Of course. Uh, anybody want a drink while he's looking up the rules? Yeah, I'd love a drink. That has not acted uh, yet this okay. encounter, so I believe that is taking their turn. You're, you're fine, Archie? I'm good. Thank you. Anything in particular, Justin? Mm, <laughs> the uh, spicy uh, <laughs> apple. This well, uh, Chris Apple. Yeah, spicy. Yeah. I'm not going to not attack Thank the you. fuck out of this guy. <laughs> so, well, hmm. he seems to have like sensed your intent, but you like you you have a moment to choose your action here yeah. because like you kind of like take it and you draw it and it's clear like clear you have an intent for a second to strike him but he seems to just like draw it out and seems to be like preparing mm-hmm. but pauses a moment to, he wants to see what you're, it's a, you can tell like he senses your want to kill him but that he also wants to give you a, a moment he wants to see ah. what you do <laughs> I rolled a fourth side to see what because <laughs> my, my other thought was I can cut Zadra free mm-hmm. and that would be the non-aggressive way of dealing with the situation However, I rolled one dark side, so I'm going to attack. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be a lightsaber roll to attack him. Is it a medium, right? To It's medium for the melee attack. Yeah, melee attack. Uh, both are going to get upgraded to reds because he's okay. got adversary two. So red, you upgrade two dice. Um, and does he He also has a rank of defense, so a setback die. And a setback die. Okay. <laughs> one success, one advantage, and a triumph. Okay. So, what's your lightsaber's damage? Uh, so lightsaber damage. I guess this is this is Zadra's, right? Yeah, this is Zadra's. This is Zadra's. Oh yeah, that's correct. Um, Zadra's lightsaber damage. Technically, you have one more advantage on that because his auto generates one advantage. Nice. Um, and it does ten. Ten. Okay. And it's it's worth saying like you're having to hold this one with two hands probably because yeah. his light like now that you're holding it, it looks like. A lightsaber grip pretty similar, almost like a Shoto or a smaller lightsaber grip that has like an extra bit attached to the end of it. Like what was a normal Shoto or small lightsaber that's been augmented to have like a long curved grip hmm. that's mostly of like some sort of strange kind of bone or wooden inlay. Uh, but it's kind of a curved two hand to use it. Hmm. Um, a little Apparently awkward. worked out my advantages. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it will give you an additional. Um, Cool. Actually, excuse me, I guess two advantage technically automatic. Oh, no, that's because of his other thing. One advantage gotcha. because of the curved hilt gives an automatic one advantage. Nice. Um, you can spend, I mean, you can, you have a variety of things to spend that uh, um, triumph on. Right. Um, you could also just inflict a critical wound if you felt like it. Probably critical not wound. the worst thing to do. I think you could do technically both because this lightsaber is a crit of two. 
Nice. Oh, and if it generates oh. one more advantage. Yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. So you, you yeah. can crit so I can plus crit. whatever you want to do with the triumph. Can I? <laughs> this is Star Wars, after all. Can I cut his hand off? That's a possibility, I believe, ah, with the critical the injury. Crit. I see. If it's bad enough. But. Um, yeah, but you, can, you can also kind of spend triumphs to, like, alter the flow of the story a right. little bit. Like, yeah, so it, it depends on a specific much, injury that yeah, you really so, so, but yeah, like, you may not be able to cut off his hand, but, mm-hmm. like, you can... You can do something like yeah. you can do something important that's not necessarily like can I get him? But you can also like, like like with my strike, I can create enough space to like free Zadra. Hmm. I would say that you can. I will let you because he's yeah, got like vines in multiple spots. It's a it's a triumph. It's, I'll say that you can like stab uh, like kind of the control console for this box and it'll unlock his latches. He'll still have to cover over his head. Right. And he'll he still is in whatever shape he's in. But um you can also you can do that. Sure. Okay, cool. Um so the damage though uh his lightsaber is eleven because it's ten plus your one um, and are you the and, and it's and it's and it's a it's crit. crit. So um, you need to pull up you need to find that He crit is going to, to spend some soak to parry. So he's gonna reduce that damage down a little bit. You don't know how much. So he's going to kind of like partially parry it to the side, but it is still going to catch the, it. Yeah, like kind of sp- enough that you're able to roll after for that, a, like a critical yeah. second. Spending time. Yeah, it'll be after the spending okay. uh, one. Um, it should be just a couple pages after that from the like damage yep, and healing section. Yep. Okay. So then I need to roll a d100. Do all lightsabers have vicious or just. Most have some level of vicious. I can tell you exactly what his vicious level is. He does have any. Actually, not. Well, I guess some do. Some do. Um, <clears throat> his is an Elum crystal, so I don't actually think it does. Breach, and yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. So it's just a flat D100? Flat D100. <laughs> Two. <laughs> so. Minor Nick. It's just minor target, Nick. One strength. Okay. Uh, so he's able to, like, you kind of, like, slash it, and it's kind of like he, like, parries it, and it seems to kind of just scuff along, because wounds don't technically mean yeah. you actually take a wound, but, like, he parries it, and it makes him stumble back to where you have time to, like, stab this lightsaber into the control panel, and these things all unlock, and Zadra kind of loosely falls to the ground, catching himself. Um, for the sake of this, I'm just going to throw Zadra at the end of this initiative, oh. uh, which will be the next turn, sure. um, and he's going to kind of, like, push up and kind of, he, like, pulls <laughs> the uh, cowl off of his back, and um, is going to... What is he going to try and do? <laughs> I've got a blaster on my hip. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know that. Know. He's still kind of getting his... Um, he's going to... I guess he's going to try and force push this guy. Nice. You can't force push him. Shut up! <laughs> he's not going to use dark side though. So uh, he kind of like... And he seemed like... He kind of like... For, like like Looks like he's trying to do something with the force, but this Inquisitor kind of like... Seems to be like shifted back a little bit but pushes through it and it'll be the Inquisitor's turn he is going to make a strike at you. Let's see. Only that guy in the office chair could have Actually he's going to he's going to suffer some strain to use a force ability um, as a maneuver Mm. and you can see him look over at Zadra and let's see how many if he gets one so um, you see him like look towards Zadra and kind of raise a hand up and Zadra kind of floats into the air and starts grabbing at at his neck and this guy comes over and he's going to swing the blade down on you. Gotcha. Let me see. I need to see what the dodge uh, ability looks like. Because I haven't really used it much, so I need to refresh my memory. Okay. Because I have that. I have a second that. to figure all this shit out. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> Days, I'll have enough time to heal up to full in between our combats. <laughs> Technically, he's fighting multiple opponents, but I'm not going to give him his multiple opponents because okay. one of them is. So I'm there. going to upgrade one of his um, check, one of his die. Okay. Um, and I'm going to suffer a strain to do it. Okay. So we'll upgrade a purple to a red. And you have a rank of defense, correct? I do. Okay. Yeah, it's an incidental to. Okay. Uh, um, 
And you see, like, the arm he pulls and holds it is that robotic one. And it, like, it comes down. It's very, like, Darth Vader-y, like, the force of a freight train with this thing coming down on you. Like, augmented supernatural strength, because robot arm. Um, And it is going to be two success and an advantage. And he has a crystal that has been modded for minus one to his crit, so he can crit on a single advantage. And he has some fishes as well. So, it is going to be ten wound... Because it's eight damage on his lightsaber plus two success, and it goes through uh, soak. Okay. But you can. I am going to spend a parry. So three strain. Three strain. How many ranks in parry do you have? I have two. So subtract four from that. So instead it'll be six damage. Six damage. Um, you will, however, also suffer. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. Man, if we're gonna be if we're gonna be fighting assholes like this, I really need that cortosis weed in my arm. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a big deal. He's pretty scary. Um, if he's so yeah, you know how, you know how it's going through the soak like that. Technically, it wouldn't go through skull soak because <laughs> I have him built. Because that is I put Kratos this week in skull not long after I got him. Nice. He's, got how many he's resistant to lightsabers. Uh, <laughs> Why would you pay extra for that? Uh, just a hunch. <laughs> well, and just like anything that does yeah. like piercer breach. Um, which is, or Pierce or Blast, which is, like, just really cool. Um, okay. Okay. Um, so, you kind of go to, the, like, raise this up to Perry, and he, his, in his lightsaber, if you don't remember, it's, like, kind of a, yeah. like, broadsword-shaped mm-hmm. lightsaber, and he's got kind of a strange metal, like, that actually has, like, a, a, yeah. like, a pommel and, a, like, a guard on a guard, it. Yeah. Um, but... It's a kind of weird shaped blade, and he swings it down at you, and you like go to parry it, and it's more like you absorb some of it, but there's so much power behind the strike, it pushes back against your blade, and while it slower slows it down, it presses the blade in your own, or I guess Zadja's lightsaber blade, into your arm, Oof. and you will take a critical injury of um, crippled. Crippled. Uh, it is a hard injury. One limb it's, is impaired uh, until on healed slash second replaced. page, Mighty Jane. Oh, second. For crit injuries. So for sake this, yep, there we go. Your your limb is not cut off, but one of your arms is very badly like cut into, and you add a purple die to all checks using your arm basically until that is healed or the arm is replaced. So it says. Ouch! So you could just chop it off and replace it if you don't feel like having someone heal it eventually. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's a bad injury. There. Um. And that's his turn, and it's back to you. Ouch. Um, I guess I have to try to attack him back. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't think I can push him with my force. Um, you could move objects. You can't technically, like, hit him with them yeah. to damage him. Because um, I don't really have... I don't have a ton of force powers at the moment, so... I'm, I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. I'm just Jedi. a baby. So yeah, we'll... I'm just uh, a baby. We'll try to give him the... Give him the bop. Okay. And he has adversary, right? Yeah. He does adversary to, to this. From... You make it's two purples, but you upgrade them both yeah. to reds. Right. But I, do I add a purple because of my bad arm? Um, it's only a one-handed. Purple. I would let you use this blade one-handed. Technically, though, I'm gonna probably make some changes to the statistics of it That's because cool. it's it's a two-handed grip, but it's it's one that. It's not like the elongated grip, and you're a small person trying to use it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it'll do less damage. Okay. But I'll let, you, I'll let you still swing it without the extra purple. Ooh. Two success, two advantage, but a despair. Okay. Um, so, two success, two advantage. So you're able to strike him again and technically critically injure him again, and it'll yeah. add the previous one, which is not much. Two, but... but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's do damage first. So okay. it'll go instead of 10, I'll drop does it down it, to 8 damage so then, from this. Does it just add the previous number, or does it add a like flat 10? I think it's a flat 10. It's, yeah. it's by the yeah. difficulty. Let's, of it, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think, I think it's, it. yeah, because I think it's just like a flat number. But um, um, Yeah, it's still not much. Not, but <laughs> go ahead and roll another D100. And so you had 2 success? 2 success. Okay. 11. <laughs> plus so, 10. So 20, 21. I've got the table open okay. here. Um, plus black to the next skill check. He's off balance. Um, and it was 10 damage. He is going to parry again uh, and reduce that by some amount, but still take some. Um, okay. Uh, and 
with the despair, however, he kind of, like, catches and parries this, and it kind of, like, stumbles back, but he reaches, he, like, um, as it's kind of hitting this, he's going to kind of swing around, and his uh, forearm is going to kind of check into the blade of your lightsaber, mm. and you can see this, like, kind of strange yeah. material built up on his arm, and as it bats your arm and lightsaber to the side, the lightsaber sputters and goes out. And mm. he uses the despair to... With Shut his cortosis. What you saw happen, unfortunately, yeah. to Master de Gunji previously. You see the lightsaber uh, uh, having to shoot him. Uh, <laughs> Pretty neat. Pretty brutal. I guess you have a maneuver. Uh, I don't really have anything that I can maneuver with. <laughs> Stab yourself with a stink pack? Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Okay, step back. Step back yourself. <laughs> okay, take, get five back. Um, Zadra is next, and he's still sitting up here, kind of floating in the air. You see him kind of like, jet, like go for a another force move, and this time you see the Inquisitors just like stab you, like looking at you very angrily, kind of fly back through the air and tumble across the ground a little ways. Uh, and Zadra drops back to the ground as this happens, and like he he looks to you, he looks like he's beaten to hell at the moment, and he's like, "We need to go." Okay. I'll, uh, I guess it's probably an action to like try to throw him a step back or something. But, yeah, yeah, it'll be on your turn if you try to throw him a step back, and uh, he and he's going to start trying to move with you towards the door. Okay. Um, and then with that, cut yeah. back to the other group. <laughs> Are we hearing alarms yet? Not yet. Oh, good. Not then. Yet. Then the plan is to <laughs> and everything's copacetic. <laughs> I can only assume that whatever's happening on the other end of things is going fine because ah! I'm not hearing anymore. <laughs> uh, um, so we're uh, we're just headed for we're headed for um, the sensor array control, um, wherever that is. Okay, um, I'll have you guys do one more survival to maneuver there. You did so great on the last one. Yeah. You should probably okay. do it again. <laughs> Efficiency yeah. could be helpful. So it was bop, 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 and then average. Mm-hmm. Okay. Roll! Ooh, ooh, three success, but three threat. The threat are my fists. <laughs> <laughs> three success, three threat. Um, as you guys arrive, well, it's not really, an alarm's not going to go out with what's going on with them. Not at the start, at least. So, uh, not until he's getting his ass kicked. You guys arrive outside of here, but as you, like, come to a corner, you can see a procession of, like, six stormtroopers that are on patrol. Have You can see, like, the back of them as they're moving into uh, this area. Ooh. <laughs> six is a lot. Yeah, six. just trying... They're not. Are they, are they directly in our way? Or? They are. They're moving into the area that has the machinery you're wanting to mess with, seeing as part of their, their route uh, patrolling around here. We can try to walk behind them easily. <laughs> <laughs> we just we need the. You think the, that there's the a chance you could wait for the pass? Um, but it take time. It'll take time, and there's a chance they spot you on their way out, and um, you lose your element of surprise. The the classic. We just need the murder condo line where you just like. <laughs> 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 you just think behind him and stealth yeah. kill each guy. The, the far line. the Far Cry. Uh, that was actually one thing that I really liked punch, about Far Cry you, Three is okay. that you could get chain stealth takedowns, and you could also do ones where you could use a basically pull the yeah, guy's the, knife out and throw it at the next guy in line, so you could go. Take down, take down, take down, and then the one guy that's like too far away that you can like chain take down, you picked up this throwing knife and just like <laughs> yeah. you just like uh, so good. I good. guess I'm going to I mean we probably just need to take these people out. Look, this whole operation goes loud sooner or later. It's yeah. <laughs> there's um, a time where it happens, and if this is that time. And if there's then six time troopers, right, like yeah. it's called um I am going to <laughs> die. I wanna kind of die flat. And I am going to die. I don't know. <laughs> so like so, I, hey, that's my move. <laughs> <laughs> well, you weren't getting to it fast enough, so somebody had to do it. <laughs> um I guess I'll like kind of die flat and take aim and auto fire. At this group of stormtroopers. Okay. Um, try and just clear them all as efficiently as possible. I don't think the, hey, can you help me with this ploy will work again. <laughs> so, um. Hey, skeever breath. <laughs> skeever breath. It'll be, uh, I'll say you can, because this is fairly tight, I'll let you be a um, close range. Okay. And you'll have a boost because they're not expecting it. Well, and with aiming, that's two boosts. What could go wrong? Um, what could go wrong? 
is what the stormtrooper should be. <laughs> um, so that's three three success, two advantages. Plus two. Plus two auto generated advantages, which means five stormtroopers will be taking fifteen damage apiece. These six troopers will kind of move into this place, and as their procession is starting to move towards the door, you step out and just unload into the crowd of them, and all but one die. Um, I'm going to have you make a cool. Uh, your friends, everyone else will make vigilance. Everyone else make vigilance to see the order of stuff here. Mm-hmm. So, bam! <laughs> From a great roll to a terrible will. roll. <laughs> you know, rank in it. That's, so, that's so. pretty decent. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Two success, one advantage, and a triumph from all You are fox. first. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's close range, so you could run up the distance and you could close the distance if you want to melee him. Yeah. Go ahead and roll the brawl. Bop, 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 two green. Bop. Or excuse me, two purple. I guess I'm doing an awful. Uh, two Less. success and advantage. Uh, okay, so uh, with that, with it ignoring the soap, because that, yeah, you're able to kill him. I'm sure I've been doing an awful little amount of bounty hunting recently for <laughs> bounty hunter. I think to myself, uh, and on no board threat and on either guy, so you're lucky really in the fact that free. no one immediately responds to an unloading of <laughs> blaster fire, and none of, they don't have an opportunity to raise alarm well, with how quickly you dispatch them. People are really bad at their job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, those the, guys were just trying to do their job. They're like, hey, we're gonna come help out, do the thing. Plants this a, guy's working on his key. Plants <laughs> a demo charge. Um, Again, in a somewhat discreet spot. And Sarge wasn't in the prisoner cells. So, are we heading back to the hangar? I think that's the best. Um, I mean, I, we could go bad. try and find them. But <laughs> Just wander through the whole ship. <laughs> we could go wrong. <laughs> um, Look, there's a chance that you show up at a very opportune place at a very opportune time doing that. There's also a chance that you're... Lost deep in the ship when the getaway from vehicle I, is wanting to from, from what I know about like the layout of this ship, is there like a conference room or anything? There's like, like that? officers' quarters, but you've already noticed from moving through this ship that it's not the exact layout. Right. Of other ones. That's why you got turned around at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, we could wait at the ship for a little while, and if nothing happens, then we could go try to find them. But maybe. Where's the nearest security console? Um, what nearby are, enough. I want to. I guess in a nearby hall, you could find something out. You know, I might as I might as well see if we can get into like, check. Yeah, exactly. Computers I'm not great check. at them. Um, let's see if we can get into like, I'm like get into bad. the like security like. Um, can't be good at like security cameras essentially, and see if we can figure out where Manus or Sadra went. Computer. Okay. Um, um, go ahead and give me a hard computers check. That's what I was afraid. I'm low <laughs> tech, actually low tech. Low tech. Um, yeah, you're terrible at computers. You literally grew I'm up I'm a great driver. mechanic. I'm not great with computers. That is one success, one threat. Wow. Um, you can tell that you're able to patch into a live feed of a, <laughs> of a door opening uh, and running through it, Manus and Zadra, both of which look very badly injured. Um, and you can tell that it's fairly deep in the ship and not particularly close to where you guys are right now. Damn it. Well, nothing for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, you so cutting back to you two as you like start to run through this run through this door to escape the Inquisitor. You hear like a when the ship kind of lists and shakes a little bit. The crazy <laughs> bastards. <laughs> and um, you can hear like a scream. Like, Get back here! <laughs> and this guy's going to start storming after you guys. Um, you're able to make one move. He can make it and kind of start closing that distance. Um, and We're getting those classic Imperial alarms. Just He's going to charge up to where you guys... He's going to make a stab at Zadra. Uh-oh. Where's these stats? How long is the uh, lightsaber disabled for? I believe from Cortosis weave. Three rounds. Uh, yeah, uh, the rules are in there. Yeah. You'll you'll know where it is better than I. <laughs> hmm, yes, they're in here, huh? <laughs> where could that be? 
I just, I remember very little about them. I just remember that they exist, and it's like, oh, these are neat. Where are those dice? What dice? Oh, dice. Who's dice? Who's dice? And I'm so oh, sorry. Mm. Uh-huh. If I can find them, who knows? That's all. The... Oh, it's, it's not that's like right. Kill, right. They're under like they're kind of under like melee weapons. Zandra's head comes off. No! Uh, he's not quite dead! <laughs> the lightsaber may be reactivated as an incidental, but it may not be reactivated until after the last initiative slot during the next round. Okay. Uh, uh, during the, okay. So this whole round will happen without being obvious, basically. Yeah. Um, and he, he comes running and swings us at Zadra, who's going to like try and slide, like just continue to run away, and he gets a good step ahead, but this blade comes down, and it catches where his hip meets his leg and cuts his right leg off. Oh. And Zadra stumbles over, grabbing at his leg, and looks like he's either dazed or unconscious to a point, or like, not with it to a point where he's not running away anymore. But... We'll be there, eventually. <laughs> We're running like idiots towards you guys. It's uh. nowhere in particular. We know kind of where they are. And I can't activate the lightsaber yet? Not this round. Uh, I'm going to use my quick draw feature. Okay. And shoot this motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> shoot it. Uh, is he short range or... Uh, what's the word? Engaged. He'll... Uh, with you, short. Okay. Because he, he was specifically wanting to get to Zadra. He did not want Zadra to escape more than he did not want you to escape. Because you're still corruptible. <laughs> In what? his weird, twisted mind, somehow. Two, three, four. Okay. Maybe if you watch that to die, that'll be enough to bring you over the Right. <laughs> uh, okay. And roll. Eh, one failure, two advantage. So, I, what do you tell me? I, you tell me what you use uh, as advantage for. You can use it for combat or or for like a story thing. Uh, it does not hit him. Yeah. What does it do? Hits Sandra and puts him out of his way. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, yeah, I guess I just have to try to, like, give him some kind of... Dis- How Does this guy look bad off at all? Like, has he been... He's been hit twice. Um, he has parried both times, so it's reduced it. He's probably on the edge. I mean, in the, in the terms of, like... In D&D terms, he's probably right on the edge of bloody. Fair. I'm just, like, trying to gauge this situation of, can I turn and fight? You, you think uh, that even with the lightsaber and a one-on-one with how badly injured you got from the last one, you don't have a great shot at, like, winning in a, a straight fight with him at the moment? I got anything wonky that I can use. <laughs> That's always the trick. Is like, what what kind of unorthodox shenanigans can I do here? But there's not really much, especially crippled as I am. Crippled boy. <laughs> You're just a young cripple. Uh, let's see. So what's a advantage that I could get from shooting? I guess the advantage is that I try to, like, pull his attention away okay. from Zadra. Okay. <laughs> I have a you shoot. blast this at him, and it goes kind of wide. It, it goes past him, but it kind of catches his attention. Yeah. Um, He's like, I should, he has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for Zadra's initiative slot here, and I'm going to just kind of keep track of you guys. You guys are trying to run and help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So um, I'm going to kind of keep track of when you would uh, be arriving there. Um, he is going to kind of turn about. Turn, Zadra's initiative, it seems like he's staying down and not getting up. Um, this guy's going to turn to you, and he is going to make... He's going to use something else with the uh, aim feature that's different. Uh, mm. It's choosing it. It's making it harder for him to hit, but specifically. He's going to throw <laughs> the lightsaber at you. Oh. Just stun, stun you. Yeah. Yeah. Defense. Um, so... Oh, I can choose the... Du- oh, you already rolled it. I didn't uh, he's not attacking you. Ah. Ooh. Necessarily. 
Uh, he turns towards you as you kind of blast him, it kind of goes wide, and he like turns towards you and he swings down this blade and slices through the blaster and destroys oh. it out of your hand. Yeah, that's my favorite blaster! <laughs> <laughs> um, which is going to be Zach. Uh, and his maneuver, I guess, is going to, it was closing the distance, stepping up to you. So, it'll be after that. You okay. can turn on the lightsaber now. I can turn lightsaber on the lightsaber. Is activatable. I will quick draw the lightsaber okay. and give him a swing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, since I can't force push him away, I've got to do what I can. Uh, those are reds. Good catch. Eep. Did you give him a setback die as well? Oh, and this a setback. Doesn't make a well, so that's uh, three advantage and a despair, and then... I thought from the... <laughs> <laughs> three advantage and a despair, but no success. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's gonna fucking bop my legs despair, again. <laughs> well, with the despair, I mean, it's gonna be more story driven than that. That's instead cool. of like, it's not gonna deactivate it, but like, you swing down with this thing, and he's gonna turn. He's gonna catch your hand, and, like with the blade coming down, and he's gonna toss it up, and then he's going to try and use a force power on you All for right. his turn. Fair enough. Which is going to be enough dark side to lift you up into the air, and you're going to take three wounds. Three wounds. Ouch. Um. At this, rounding the corner, you see a Zadra on the ground with a missing leg. Did he used to look like that? <laughs> they stole <laughs> his robotic see, leg! And I you see the kid floating in the air, grabbing at his neck, and this guy with his blade drawn holding him up there, looking at him, and you can hear him say, like, You could have been something! You could have had a chance in this! And then you come around the corner. <laughs> this is some... This is some <laughs> space wizardry bullshit that I've ever This is my first that. sort of like true space encounter with face wi- space wizard bullshit, mm-hmm. and I'm not entirely sure I'm about it. You're like, what's all this? Seems like some space wizard bullshit has gone down while we weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you guys are down a, a decent length hallway from him at the moment. Uh, it'll be medium range. I'm sprinting. Yeah. You got you and you sprinting. You will won't be able to get into an engaged range with That's him fine. this round, but you'll be able to I'm close into close range. I'll from. kill that skull to get Zadra out of here. Okay, and uh, I, I'm I'm gonna auto fire. Okay, the, it'll be hard then uh, uh, because it's it's a medium range. I can, but I could move up one range band, right? Yeah. So I'll move. I'll just move up one range band and auto fire. Okay, because I think overall it's gonna be better than aiming. Mm-hmm. Um. They are going to upgrade to reds. Uh-huh. And I'm going to go ahead and spin one of these to add another purple on there, too. Oofa. Okay. Oofa. Oofa. Yeah, and he's got uh, one black from range defense. Thank you. One Ooh. failure, one threat, one despair. Straight down um, the line. Ooh. You put a bullet oh, in the no. <laughs> It's approved for flat if they have a... Oh, no. It, Lucky for you, on a hit that generates despair, (laughs) he can shoot one of your friends with your own blaster bolt. Um, The despair... You you miss with the despair. (laughs) You light up this hallway, uh, and... Gosh, I'm trying to think of... You light up this hallway, and it, it kind of, it's something that, uh, I don't think the spare is going to come in a major way. I'm not going to make you, like, hit one of your friends uh, here. Oh, that's nice. But you, you have this kind of moment, this opportunity to unload towards this guy, and he just, like, he reflects a couple of the ones that come at him, and the other ones seem to go around and go wide. And seeing the number of you and being injured already, um, you and Skull start running in and closing the distance closer. Um, he is going to angrily... <laughs> he's going to just throw Manus, and he's going to he's going to run back through to uh, through the room because he doesn't think he can fight this many people all at once injured. Um, the despair is going to allow him to like basically use and make him get to use that force power uh, before he runs, and it's going to be and, and, one moment. Okay. Add roll for disposition. <laughs> Bang. That was such a good opportunity. If that auto fired landed and that guy had just taken it's like how it goes. Four hits of fifteen damage or something, that would have been awesome. Why is it being so Why is it being so 
what's the Battlefield uh, 2 thing where he's like, the 501st narrator is like, the only real way to put down a Jedi is enough blaster fire. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> um, Now, uh, Raiden does think that him, ref- like, using <laughs> yeah. a laser sword to deflect blaster fire is some serious space wizard bullshit. <laughs> uh, and, Manus, you are going to take ten um, damage Ooh, as I'm you are slammed against the wall. Down and out. As he, so he, he throws Manus, who kind of ragdolls against the wall and tumbles down the hallway. Technically, and then he, I'm not down. Technically... You roll off of, the of a critical, critical injury. I think you're unconscious technically, right. and you roll off the critical injury. So let's let's go ahead and you can roll your own. You can okay. choose your own fate. And this is Luckily, plus ten. This will be plus ten. Luckily, his is it? Oh. Yeah, are you adding the severity of existing? Yeah. Oh, that's because it's a difficult. So I, I might be plus thirty. Let's make sure we know how this yes. this works before. I mean, even with plus thirty, you won't die. Right. Uh, he can't kill you with that, but. I think it but, is. But maybe you lose some limbs or something else horrible. <laughs> My crippled arm just pops up. <laughs> yes, that is sort of exactly the, yeah. the risk. Each critical injury character suffer adds, suffers from adds plus 10. Essentially, critical injury is cumulative. And so it's just plus 10 for okay. each injury. So you'll just add 10. Uh, 10. <laughs> 10 plus 10, 20. Indeed. So distracted, I'll say. Uh, you cannot perform a free maneuver next turn. Well, look at me. You're unconscious anyway. So you get slammed against that unconscious, tumbling to the ground, and this guy bolts back into the room that he just came from, and the door closes behind him. And uh, for the sake of this, unless you guys are trying to give direct chase, uh, you will be out of initiative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, knocked down, incapacitated, those wounds are reduced. Mm-hmm. Alarms are blaring. So, uh, did you roll off your... He did. It's nothing relevant. Okay. I'm going to be super upset. But he is unconscious? And he is, yeah. He's limp I? on the ground, and you can see Zadra also limp, missing Well, like, well, I... Well, forget the leg. Um, <laughs> I, I told Skull to grab Skull's Zadra. Skull's stumbling, and he just, like, picks so Zadra I'll up and... Tell, so, I'll tell Flopsy to grab Manus. Okay. And... But before I do that, I'm going to see him, like, shut the door. Can I try to use Pierce to, like... Like, fucking punch the door. You can't... Here's a... The, yeah. Your blade is not very long. Mm-hmm. So unless he's standing up against the door, it's not going to I'm not trying like to do it. that. I'm trying to, like... I'm very upset. You're just mad. Mm-hmm. You like, go up and you, like, stab the door. I already just send a message. He, run, yeah. he runs in, turns around, closes the door, and a huge dent <laughs> just appears. Yeah. Like, oh. a, a dent with, like, lightsaber blade, the kind of... The punch blade of your thing kind of sticks through, and it does dent in the door. But unless... If you're going to try and give chase, you can, but... Um, the door seems to be sealed, and you have to... No, I'm just very Just sending upset. a message. Yeah. Message received. <laughs> uh, and you know, I assume you're then scooping up your buddy Manus. With and full tears in my eyes. And then you guys are, are rushing out of here. You better hope your stupid joy is bringing the ship. <laughs> Why do I hear the A team music? <laughs> and I want somebody to give me a survival check to get back to right. the hangar. It's, it's Flopsy. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, one advantage. One advantage. Um, yeah. It's not particularly efficient, but you do get there um, without running into people along the way. As you kind of bust out into the open of this, the shuttle is still parked out in front there, uh, and you can see that a number of people who are uh, seem to be like who have moved and are like basically trying to like guard the shuttle and make sure nobody's escaping on this. Is this is this random dude with us just like? <laughs> Is everything oh, yeah. just way above his head at this <laughs> he, point? He's like, sees you like run past completely. Like, he's like, just, he's just kind of, he hasn't taken part yet, but he's just been following That's you. That's fine. As long as he's not standing directly in the way. He's not, he's um, not getting in the way. I, I mean, I'm trying to decide if we should clear these people out before the other ship gets here, or in case the other ship doesn't get here. Um... So there's people standing in the way? There's people who seem to be kind of maneuvering, that like, they're guarding the ship. There's some people, like, in between you and the ship, and most people are, like, have eyes on it. Um, but not our ship, the, the shuttle. The shuttle. The shuttle. Where's our ship? Not there yet. Not, not there yet. <laughs> not there yet. Do we just try and wait? Stay, like... Can I pull the ship closer to us so they're like, what the fuck? 
Well, it's silhouette it's... two. The ship is not silhouette two. Dang. You could try and use force move to like. I mean, there's. I think technically Tie Fighters are silhouette three, so you couldn't move like a Tie Fighter up on like a rack or anything. But like yeah, yeah. some of like a larger loading Crates. crate or something, you could make something like you could move something like that. Yeah, definitely. Right. To like get their oh. attention away. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that. Hopefully our ship shows up in time. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still you're upset. still you're emotional right now. You're yeah. angry right now. Okay. Um, you kind of tumble over this big crate and it kind of it, it causes this big ruckus uh, and crushes some things along the way. It doesn't hit people because they're not kind of little hurt people with shit yet. But uh, they it definitely like draws a bunch of attention and uh, people start moving towards that um, crate, Good. trying to like be like like looking around and be like they're over here they're over here and like starting to like try and clear that section kind of, kind of off to the side of this doorway nice we're, we're running in okay yeah you start running in you've got Manus over your shoulder um, are you guys trying to be quiet or are you guys just trying to no. to get in here we're okay, just, uh, um, okay. No. I guess we're not <laughs> going loud no. uh, but it allows you to kind of get in there quickly uh, and moving into this you're, I'd say you're able to get to basically like a section of cover more or less like boxes that would because these guys are manu- move, moving towards where you made a distraction, you could like put that between you. Mm-hmm. You'd have to be not quiet to do that, but you could run there and get some cover from them. Yeah, we should do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you guys rush in there. This other guy, like, <laughs> he's just, he's just <laughs> running over and thrown to the ground behind the cover. <laughs> and uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to go back and forth. We're not going to do an initiative. Uh, this episode's already probably long enough. Uh, and you guys, uh, I'll just take. It's going to be ranged attacks if you have them. Otherwise, I assume you guys are just kind of hunkering down behind this crate. Uh, so we'll do a round of that real quick. Oh, I'll use my blaster. Wait. Uh, <laughs> you could use mine, but you literally wouldn't hit anything with it, and you're unconscious, so no, it doesn't matter. I'm just, being, I'm just being armory because Eric's broke my blaster pistol. <laughs> I've had that this whole campaign. It's been my trusty sidearm. I didn't do anything. Um, what range are these guys at? Um, <laughs> they're at medium range. Okay. I'll aim and I'll fire. Okay. I'm gonna try and if R3 fire. didn't even um, fucking any, bother to drive the ship because he's like, they're fucking dead. <laughs> any, any ranks of defense here that I need to know no. about? Okay. They're not in cover and they are just, these are just regular structures. Um, two success, one advantage, which means, uh... Three auto fires? Um... Yeah, so uh, four of them will take 14 damage. Okay, you blast across here and you, you take out four of them. Um, some shots come back because of cover in the range. Only, you're, you're so, um, Skull blasts and hits and kills one. Your weird tag-along friend swings up and blasts and misses. It, he just got one threat. Uh, however, one Stormtrooper blast does hit and it's on him. <laughs> So, who cares who this guy is, because he gets shot and he falls dead. over. Oh, uh, Ripperino, this dude. Uh, he I really thought that grabbing him and throwing him down behind cover would have made it clear and stay <laughs> behind cover. But. He was trying to help, but he just he's not shot. He's not much of a combatant. Yeah, anymore. who cares who that guy was? <laughs> who cares? He doesn't matter. Hope, uh, we, didn't, hope we didn't ruin somebody, like, like a, a, a side quest to <laughs> sclur and... Like, so, maybe we can save our kid. buddy the Grand. That'll be so good. <laughs> got some bad news. I got some bad news. Those. Some terrorists got onto the Imperial <laughs> ship and he got killed to crossfire. <laughs> uh, he did it too. <laughs> Give me one more round if you want to make combat checks. There's nothing I can do. That range, yeah. These guys aren't aren't closing yeah. the distance yet. I am just pinning the trigger. Okay. Hey. Oh. Four success, one advantage. So, so more damage to less. <laughs> well, no, that's uh, it's still three auto fires, so it's still four people. But these four people are super take dead. sixteen damage apiece. Um. Okay. So uh, a bunch more die. Skull also hits one. Skull, you get missed again. Skull does get hit and blasted. It does some damage to him. And at this, like, after a little bit of, like, trading fire back and forth, flying, like, hauling <laughs> ass into this thing. And, like, it's kind of like a blast into this and, like, not really turn the engine off, more just, like, 180. Uh, and kind of come to a skidding stop in between the fire. You see Zadra's ship. Hey-oh. 
Get to the chopper. Yeah. Get to the chopper. Everybody on board now. <laughs> and then ramp just got. Kind of <laughs> and you you guys run it over into here. I'm gonna give uh, one last blast, but with it's gonna be hard for them to get. Okay, yeah. Some advantages, but no no hits. So more blasts go as you guys rush onto the back of this ship, uh, and you hear like a. <laughs> and start shoot. He barely gets this closed before he breaks into space and murders you guys. Because um, he's just oh, hauling out of there. Um, it's fairly quiet because of the thrusters, but he is hauling as he blasts out of this, and it's he's immediately going to try and, and turn and start going. Um, and R3 starts running away. It looks like, because you have disabled the experimental... Um, tractor, beam. tractor beam. This ship can't stop you. And since you disabled this ship's scanners, the other Star Destroyer ships uh, at this range are not strong enough to pick up your ship. And you nice. will be able to jettison out past this hey. blockade and out into space. It only cost us an arm and a leg. Punch it to hyperspace mm-hmm. and the first opportunity. <laughs> um... Um, do you say like let's get like punch into hyperspace? Tar three. Yeah. Okay. He um, punches it somewhere to hi- in hyperspace. Yeah. yeah, we'll get up somewhere, uh-huh. and then once we're there, maybe set maybe set course for the smuggler's planet. That maybe be the best place to get you guys medical attention. Yeah, they need a doctor. I mean, I need a doctor. We, could, may, we could probably we could probably do it on Teth, but I don't want to like make that much of a ruckus in a. Crowd full of bounty hunters. Right. Wait, do I get a cool robot arm now? How much are robot arms? Very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ten thousand. Eric spent a whole campaign whole saving up to try and give himself robot arms. Try, <laughs> that character wanted to just choose to cut his arm. Your arm isn't cut off. Sure. It's just so damaged that it's not functional right now. You could um, get it replaced with a robot arm if you if you want. All this to be decided. Yes. Yeah. Next time. Next time on our combined Star Wars yeah. campaign. You guys saved Zadra. Most of them, at least. (laughs) The bits that mattered. Good work. Uh, Hope everyone enjoyed watching, and we will see you in the next one.